In 1997, in the journal Phobology, Italian physician Lorenzo Tassari published a method of creating foam sclerosant using two syringes and a three-way stopcock. One syringe held one cc of 3% sodium tetradecol sulfate, also known as sotradecol, and the other held four cc's of air. By vigorously agitating the mixture back and forth, five cc's of foam was produced. Previous methods of sclerotherapy had used an air gap to push the liquid sclerosant into the vein. Tassari's method quickly became the standard, primarily used for sclerosing varicose veins with or without ultrasound guidance. In 2003, Lord and Burroughs adopted this technique for pediatric varicoceles and added sterile ethiodized poppy seed oil, also known as lapiodol, to the mixture so that it became radiopaque. This allowed Tassari's method to be used with fluoroscopic guidance, expanding the scope of this technique. This video demonstrates the 1-2-3 method of mixing foam sclerosant for large volume sclerotherapy. This was prepared for treatment of gastric varices during a balloon occlusion retrograde transvenous obliteration or BORTO procedure. 10 milliliters of lipiodol, 20 milliliters of 3% sodium tetradecol sulfate, and 30 milliliters of room air are agitated through a polycarbonate three-way stopcock, creating 60 to 75 milliliters of foam. This is then portioned into smaller syringes for a controlled injection. This is a typical setup. We will use 20 milliliters of 3% sotradecol, which is a concentration of 30 milligrams per milliliter or 600 milligrams. We will also use 10 milliliters of lipiodol, which is 4.8 grams of iodine in poppy seed oil. Note that this is an off-label use of this medication. For injection, we use three 3 milliliter polycarbonate syringes, one 10 milliliter polycarbonate syringe, and one 20 milliliter polycarbonate syringe. Three polycarbonate stopcocks. Two 60 milliliter syringes for mixing. And one 20 milliliter polycarbonate syringe for drawing up lipiodol. We begin by adding 20 milliliters of 3% sotradecol into the 60 milliliter syringe. Because lapiodol comes in a glass container, we draw it up with a filter needle. The filter needle can become lodged onto the polycarbonate syringe. Therefore, a hemostat helps with removal. Sotradecol is a detergent and will float on top of the lipiodol when it is placed into the syringe. This will result in a layer of air on top of sotradecol on top of lipiodol. Agitate the mixture of air, sotradecol, and lipiodol back and forth to create the foam. The mixture will expand, leaving you with more than 60 milliliters of foam. Now transfer 20 milliliters of the foam to the polycarbonate syringe. When detaching the syringe, pull back slightly with negative pressure to avoid spillage. Now attach a 3 milliliter polycarbonate syringe to the stopcock and draw up a portion for treatment. We hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial on making sotradecol foam with lapiodol.